staying it is super cute look at these little huts at the back here it's like little dorm rooms but they're so nice and clean it's a very like eco-friendly little resort so everything's like environmentally friendly um, no chemicals used all the rest of that kind of thing um, so yeah very excited to be here we're just gonna have lunch now and then we're gonna go out exploring we're all gonna go out and drive around in the 4x4s um, and just explore around a few different places on the island then we're gonna come back and have a campfire and dinner so it sounds like a very exciting day had like a little talk from the girls here they're just like some it's like a few young girls that kind of like run the place I think and they're super cute really friendly they made us lunch and they just ran through like all the animals that we're gonna see and things that we should watch out for and there's like sticks to take if we go down to the beach in case of dingoes and things like that and um, they're all really friendly the place is so nice and now we're just gonna go and we're all gonna like take it in turns to drive and then just like explore the island so yeah very excited Leg out. <laughs> Are you ready? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hopefully this is gonna be okay, I'm sorry. If it's not <laughs> Way bigger than our camper. Is it? <laughs> yeah, like wide. Oh, right. I mean, it, no, it's not. It feels way bigger. Get it! Okay, let's get out of here. Let's get <laughs> out of here. Good. first place which is Eli River and um, it's like basically like a oh it's very dark here it's like a lazy river and um, so we just all got in and he was like three two one splash each other and we were like oh god but no it was so fun um, and then yeah the river just carries it down and it's just like fresh rainwater so you can drink it so we've just filled up all the drinking like water bottles so yeah we're just gonna go around again and then we go on to the next place There we go, we're in the lazy river. <laughs> so nice! <laughs> it's so pretty! It literally feels so good on the skin. We're basically in love with Fraser Island already, aren't we? Yeah. It's amazing. We're happy to meet there. <laughs> Just got to the Maori shipwreck. 
on the shores of Fraser Island. It was essentially um, a massive boat used by the Japanese. They took off the um, rudder and I don't know something else because they were just going to sail it because of the way they were going all they needed was to sail it and then there was a huge storm so in fact they couldn't do anything because they didn't have the rudder um, so they just ended up coming ashore to Fraser Island. I hope it's not too windy, I hope you can hear me. Um, but yeah, basically that was the story and now, and then they couldn't get it off the shores because there kept being storms, so they donated it to the Australians for a tourist attraction. So here we are, and there it is. Insane. We just got up for sunrise. For some reason, I have a lot of energy this morning. I went to bed at probably about half past nine last night, so <laughs> I've had plenty of sleep. Got my uh, stick to <laughs> warn off the dingoes. Um, and yeah, we just got up for sunrise. It's a little bit cloudy, so there's not much of sunrise at the moment, but we're kind of just hoping that it breaks through um, because we have such a fun day ahead. Like so many activities to cram in before lunch when we get the boat back. So, oh, I just hit myself in the head. <laughs> Um, so yeah, very excited, but um, we just want to catch a nice sunrise, and if not, we're just going to play with some boomerangs. And so yeah, we learned quite a lot last night around the campfire, just about the island, have a lot of respect for it, and I kind of want to just tell you guys a bit about it, but I'm going to do that a little bit later on when I get a minute. Um, so yeah. <laughs> So I just wanted to quickly grab a minute and like tell you guys about the island because we learned quite a lot last night. Um, so basically, it's actually called Gari, the island. Um, 
that's what the Butcher people who live here call it, the tribes that live on the island. Um, and they were the first inhabitants of the island. Every time you come on here, they like to pay their respects to the Butcher people. Um, and yeah, I've kind of gone off calling it Fraser Island now because of the reason that it was called that in the first place, and I want to call it Gari. Um, so basically what happened is the Butcher people lived here, um, and this is a very shortened version of the story. Um, some uh, kind of people wanted to come and cut down the trees and make some money from it, so they came over ready to cut down the trees and sell the timber. And basically the Butcher people tried to stop them, and then... Um, they're kind of basically a whole war broke out and eventually the people that were trying to cut down the trees called the um, president and asked them to like get some of the army over. The army came over and basically they killed all of the bunch of people. I'm not going to go into the details of it but it's pretty horrible. Um, bear in mind they were the original people on this island. So yeah, they killed all the people. Um, years and years later, one of the presidents at the time um, I can't remember his first name, I know he's called Fraser. He basically then decided that he wanted to give it back to the Aboriginals, the Bachelor people, and gave them back the island, gave them back the rights, and no one was allowed to touch anything on the island anymore. Um, so it's all kind of gone back to where it should be, in my opinion. Um, and that's why they changed it from Fraser's, which is what it was originally called, Fraser's Island. That's another story um, to Fraser because of the president's surname who actually kind of saved it in a sense. But at the same time, they've given its name back as Gari Island and that's what it's originally known as and that's what the Butcher people call it. So yeah, basically pretty savage story. Pretty horrible that it was probably about two, three thousand people were killed for the sake of some trees. Um, so yeah, not nice at all. But yeah, it makes you think you know, there's a lot of history to this island, there's a lot more stories and it, it goes way more in depth but it gives you kind of a bit more respect for the island and all the people living on it and their way of life. But yeah, we are about to go out and do and start our day. Um, I think we're leaving about two and there's so much to get packed in before that so yeah, let's get going. I'm so excited! <laughs> like that? <laughs> yeah, I'd be like, Woo! what do you call it, the end of cut out the harbour? Yeah. We are getting on that plane. We're going on the plane! Hello, Josh. <laughs> uh, seat belts are the same as a car, pretty much over the shoulder, buckle in. No smoking on board, your doors, you got the one. Uh, Sorry, can't start. <laughs> little bit like travel sick <laughs> we did some very sharp corners but it was honestly incredible and Lake Mackenzie from above is so stunning the blue and the white is insane but yeah onwards and upwards And they'll go only go down a meter and if they can't find water within oh. the first meter. Yeah. This tree is a tea tree. Tea tree is that what you just call it? Tea tree tree. Um, and that's why we had it up our nose. So we are at Boomingen, I think that's how you say it, Lake. Um, it's the biggest lake on Fraser Island. It's made up of rainwater. Um, so the water's really
so um, the water is red from the tea tree oil that infuses into it and we're just like walking up to where there's like a little stream comes down a valley it's all from the rain so it all flows down and then comes into that massive lake and the patterns that the water is making are just unreal it's so beautiful Just at the lake there just playing and then it started absolutely pissing it down which was actually so nice to so just like play in the rain and the lake um but yeah we've just come to a little picnic spot we're gonna have some lunch which is so good because i'm starving i want this car this is a cool car um we're just gonna have some lunch and then we're gonna do a little jungle walk um so yeah that should be good me and india have just like sprayed ourselves head to toe with anti-mosquito spray because we're gonna get bitten because we're wet and then we're in the jungle. But yeah, hopefully we don't, fingers crossed, because I can't deal with another one on my face. Um, but yeah, that's the plan and then I think we head back. But um, I will keep you updated. This tree here used to have a big hollow and you could walk into it. Wow. And then it fell down. <laughs> Good times. No more trees. Is anybody scared of spiders? Yes. yes. That's the funnel web spider. Funnel web. Great times. On your, by your feet, were they running in front of us? Right up your leg. No, stop. That's not okay. <laughs> we hate spiders. I mean, I just dislike them. I can appreciate their beauty. I hate them, they scare me. I've only been bitten by one. Oh, great. Um, this is Clint, our guide, who's slightly not telling the truth sometimes. <laughs> who's been <laughs> fabulous and tells a lot of lies and we just have to work out what's true and what's not. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly it. <laughs> Keep you guessing. Keep us guessing. Right. I mean, I just believe Let's everything guess. anyone says. India's so. like, really? Really? No, this, this is a lesson in life education, right? Yep. <laughs> So there is a shit ton of funnel web spiders around there's and one. there's another there's one. Another one, another one. Clink is pointing them out and basically <laughs> I'm one. terrified of spiders so I'm just going to run away. <laughs> So I'm going to leave this vlog here. I hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching. Bye Fraser Island.